If you like planets, right now is an excellent time to observe Mercury in the evening sky. Mercury will be at its greatest elongation tonight, and so it's reached the highest point it'll be in the evening sky for some time. Stick around to learn more about this event in today's episode of Captain Fever Astronomy with the Edelman Planetarium. The planets are in constant motion in their meanderings of the solar system. The word planet itself means wanderer, and if you observe the patterns of these wanderers in our skies, you might notice that two of them are a bit weird. While most of the planets seem to slowly move throughout the sky by themselves, Mercury and Venus always seem to stay somewhat close to the sun. Ancient peoples didn't know why this was the case, but today we know that it's because they're located closer to the sun than the Earth is. Planets whose orbits lay outside of our own are known as superior planets, and planets whose orbits lay within ours are known as inferior planets. The inferior planets can only get a certain distance in the sky from the sun. Venus is always within about 47 degrees from the sun, and Mercury stays within about 28 degrees. When either planet gets as far as it can from the sun in our sky, it's reached what's called its greatest elongation. At that point, it will begin to reverse course and start to make its way back toward the sun. There are two types of greatest elongation. The first is known as the greatest eastern elongation, when a planet is as far as it will go in the western evening sky. And the second is the greatest western elongation, when it is as far as it will go in the eastern morning sky. Right now, Mercury is at its greatest eastern elongation, so you can find it in the western sky just after sunset. Because of its close proximity to the sun, Mercury is never easily visible far above the horizon. That can make it a bit hard to find, but that's also what makes the brief period of greatest elongation special. Mercury is at its highest point above the horizon for some time, so if you were hoping to catch Mercury in the sky, then now's your chance. Over the coming days, Mercury will begin its trek back to the morning skies, reaching its greatest western elongation on July 22nd. If you don't get a chance to see it tonight, don't fret. Even though it moves pretty quickly, Mercury will still be in about the same position in the sky tomorrow. This planet can be a bit of a challenge to find in the sky, but that makes it all the more enjoyable when you do. Thanks for being with us today. We hope you enjoyed. Make sure to come back next week for our next episode of Cabin Fever Astronomy. We hope to see you then.